Yes, simply put, do you think that he is the answer to turning those numbers around, Maldi? Well, they have a formula that we saw in 2014. Those numbers showed it. If they can control the line of scrimmage and they can win. Stress that enough. The rushing totals that we showed you there from last season were largely without Tony Romo. No run game is right. going to succeed without no. a quarterback of his caliber um, the way that that uh, they can with him on the field. Very much so. Let's say that they add him to the mix. They have Darren McFadden. They have Lance Dunbar. They just re-signed him. What's that running back rotation potentially look like? Well, I mean, uh, the best single season by a running back in Washington Redskins franchise history of yeah. 1,613 yeah. yards. Huge. That is. Those are some big names that uh, are in that category. Happy with their guy. And that, that goes without saying, I guess, that he should be, but it seems like last year he wasn't, so it doesn't go without saying, right? Well, which guy last year was he not happy with? Any of them. <laughs> <Right>. um, <laughs> so he gets his guy this year. Uh, how do you feel about the pairing? Well, the first thing is, is you have to understand, Houston wanted him, and he wanted Houston. So it's a good marriage to start. I didn't shy away from it. And there's a lot of guys that will talk the talk, and in the moment, they will sh Nine games last year, Thomas Rawls, uh, was pretty good in his it place before he got hurt. <laughs> know that yet. So this offense must go through Russell. It must go through Russell's legs. It must go through Russell's arms. And it's hard to prepare for a guy like Russell. How do you... How do uh, maybe innovative ways that they didn't uh, find last year. Yeah. To find ways Come to on, Coach Bell. get that done. Let's do it. Just, you know, another curveball. All right, so uh, coming up. Oh, my goodness. Good day to be Jordan Reed. Yeah, good, <laughs> good day to be a Redskins fan. You're so, you're Keith so Evans. hyper right He's now. been giggly all day. <laughs> it's been cute. <laughs> I don't get any of that money. Yeah, but you're a fan, so I you're know. happy, right? I, I, I think it, you it's a smart for decision, five more but years. Nobody, nobody cares what I think. That's my question to you guys. Five years, $50 million. Jimmy Graham, Jordan Reed, in terms of annual average salary per year, $10 million per. Nobody makes that much, including Rob Gronkowski. No. Good investment for the Redskins to lock him down early? It was, and everybody knows that the market goes up every single year and every single contract. So I know Kirk's glad to have him back. Well, Kirk's, he, Kirk's trying to play for his big payday, and this will help. You, you said Kirk was noticeably better. He's a lot better. His passer rating with Jordan Reed on the field, 111, without him, 73. So you're Ooh, talking wow. about a substantial That's difference. Huge. Let's keep yeah. those together. Keep yeah. those two guys together. Let's go back <laughs> to the draft for a minute. I know you guys rolling the dice when it comes to roster decisions, but he only gets 53 roster spots. <laughs> Holding one of those open for a guy that more than likely will not see the field this year. Is that the right call, Heath? <laughs> From the way I was raised in this league, no. I mean, it's changed because of different injuries to different right. positions. So you never know. But if they... Linemen in the draft, four of their first five picks devoted to the trenches, plus another... About three of the four starting linebackers, including Brandon Marshall, your best defensive lineman, Malik Jackson, both of your running backs, your quarterback of the future... These are some big names. You're on that list. You're restricted. You're going to yes. be back next year? I'll be back next year. No concerns about that? I mean, hopefully. You know, hopefully I'll be back next year. I don't see all of them, all of them as many as we can possibly get come back, especially the guys on the defensive side. Um, you want to keep this defense. Defense. He obviously balled yeah. out in the Super Bowl. He's on that list. Yeah. I mean, just the ability to stop the run. Danny Trevathan, yeah. somebody that you play with pretty closely. Yeah, that's, that's my guy, man. You know, Danny is extremely athletic. He's fast. Um, and that's what you need in this game, you know. He in the league? Oh, easy. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. I is it easy? I mean, J.J. Yeah. Watt's pretty good. Vaughn, J.J. Watt doesn't have a ring. Vaughn has a ring. But at what they do. Yours yeah. is not a defense that has one or two guys that are the reason yeah. that it all clicks. How nice is that to be out there on the field and know that all you really need to do is your job because yeah. the guy next to you is going to do his? It's amazing. You know, it's amazing to know that and, and have that trust in everybody. You know, have those beautiful. Made it pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, relatively easy, right? Yeah. It's, it's all hard. It's still hard. It's all doing hard. out there. <laughs> well, uh, Chris Harris says that they need everybody back, regardless of <laughs> Wade Phillips. A great follow on Twitter. Do you guys follow him on Twitter? I do follow him on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Because he's an entertaining guy to, to follow. Uh, hopefully, you also follow a lot of your teammates. Yes. Because that's the only way that you're going to do well in this next game. How well do you know your teammates and their social media history? Mm. We're going to play a game called Who Tweeted That? Gentlemen, Brandon, you're going to be up first. This is a competition because <laughs> why not? Uh, I'm going to press start. A tweet is going to appear here. You're going to guess which of these four people tweeted it. Okay, I will. Okay? Yep. As soon as you get to three wrong answers, it's the other person's turn. All right, Brandon, you ready? I'm ready. That's All good. right, here we go. Duty and I'm guessing they meant to tweet Tupac. Oh my god. <laughs> Your parting gift is a Lombardi oh. trophy. All I need is one. All I need is one, baby. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs>
<laughs> okay, so let's reset it for... <laughs> okay, first of all, congratulations, Rich. I know that was big for you to break six. Bon, when was the last time you ran a 5.94? Oh, uh, I don't ever remember it being that slow. <laughs> Do you have any tips for him? Maybe like form. I mean, or he something? looked good. He looked good. He, like, like, when was the last time you ran a forty? Period. Uh, we run forties all the time oh, in Dove Valley. You know, we we got uh, bragging rights. So. About that, <laughs> uh, your name came up a lot this year at the combine. Everybody looking for the next Von Miller. What's that like for you to be in that position now, where every NFL team is looking for the next you? I mean, I guess it's, it's a blessing. You know, um, it's a lot of coming up. Uh, comparisons made with Derrick Henry. Did you see his stats? Oh, yeah. That's Heisman, because, you know, those guys on defense usually never have any type of offensive skill or any offensive ability. So it would be... That description, this. I mean, my mama always told me. She always told me I was the best player on the field. So I think that's the only thing that... You know, scouts get it wrong all the time. We got Chris Harris's and, and all these guys in the National Football League having, you know, crazy career. So scouts get it wrong all the time. Well... Are you still in the conversation to be the highest paid defensive player in the league? I mean, I think I, I put it. <laughs> Since yeah. the Super Bowl? Because you have been everywhere. You've done the Grammys. You did the NBA All-Star Game. You did SNL. You've been back at Texas A&M. Now you're pitching beef jerky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what do we need to know about <laughs> beef jerky? I mean, there? I'm a, I'm part of Mark. I don't know if you are a beef jerky fan, but it, it tastes totally different than any of the other stuff. So you are a chicken farmer mm-hmm. who is involved with beef jerky. Yep. You are just all over the place. I'm from Texas, baby, all the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We uh, have a lot more fun here planned for you. Not done with you yet. We have a special segment on our show that we run from time to time. It is called For Crying Out Loud. No, no. I'm hey, not, I can I'm still not. run now. No, you can't. <laughs> <still, laughs> no, okay. you can't. Smithy looking for the Gatorade Athlete of the Year Awards. Thank you. What, what, <laughs> thank you. What is your role in this? Um, I helped present the uh, male Gatorade Athlete of the Year. Awesome. Uh, I wasn't this big and I wasn't uh, nearly as good of an athlete, um, but I worked very hard and I made it here. I watched some video of you in high school. Did you? Yeah, within like the last half an hour, oh, and fantastic. you did look like a pretty good athlete. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, these are the sweet. highlights, but... Yeah, um, I mean, I grew up in Wisconsin, playing in Wisconsin, and now that I've lived in Texas and seen Texas high school football, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. <laughs> you put it on. I would like to think so. I'm doing all right now, though. It's okay. I like this humble, modest JJ Watt that we're going <laughs> As right opposed here. to what? Well, no, I'm, yeah, right. No other <laughs> I'm kidding, version I'm of kidding, JJ I'm Watt, for sure. Um, did you this play, play offense back then? I did. I played offense and defense. Um, I also played special teams. Um, I, <laughs> I know, they wouldn't let me return it. I wanted to try it. <laughs> I'm picturing you as like the gunner or something like that. That, that would be would... fun. I feel like I could do that. Like the guy on kickoff where you just run down and I feel. Uh, would impress him the most? I mean, I hung out with Jennifer Aniston yesterday. <laughs> so, uh, high school, you would be life, very impressed. Yeah, with life doesn't get a whole things, lot better yeah. as high school me. Um, so, I mean, life is really cool. I mean, you're playing in the NFL, you're, uh, you have two defense for the awards, and you have an opportunity to go to work every single day. I know Kirk's glad to have him back. Kirk's, Kirk's trying to play for his big payday, and this will help. You, you said Kirk was noticeably better. He's a lot better. His passer rating with Jordan Reed on the field, 111, without him, 73. So you're Ooh, talking wow. about a substantial difference. Let's keep yeah. those together. Keep yeah. those two guys together. Let's go back to the draft for a minute. I know you're rolling the dice when it comes to roster decisions, but he only gets 
53 roster spots. <laughs> Holding one of those open.